Hi, it's Adonis Gil with Technique Peak. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to do a piriformis release. So normally you wanna have your patient thigh line here. We're gonna have Rob laying on his right side. We're gonna take that lower leg and straighten it out. Just puts them in a nice position so that you can have that piriformis go into a stretch. As you do trigger points, you wanna make sure that you're applying the right amount of pressure. So you can either do thumb. Some people like to kind of stack their thumbs and get into that piriformis. And the reason I said that I like this kind of drop position in the front is because then you can do a little bit of release that allows you to, to get a better release on that trigger point. But sometimes if you have that tension, that tension is what causes the trigger points to, to take hold. So by bringing it back, that you ask your patient how that feels and they'll probably tell you that it's a bit uncomfortable. But with any other trigger point release, you'll start to feel that muscle release under your finger. And there it goes. Good. Then you go back. And one of our other videos, Rob taught us how to do that piriformis stretch to see the length of it. You can use the same format. You can also apply a stretch after you do the trigger point. Best practice, usually after I do a trigger point, I try to add a stretch on top of it, just help that muscle kind of relax. Don't scale with technique.